Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Jamie. This is FDM Kickstart, and this week's topic is open, so I want to talk about the Bible, everybody's favorite topic. Uh, seriously, though, if you consider yourself Christian and you think that this might be interesting, um, please keep watching, but if you are secular or you think the Bible is historical fiction at best and this is something that you don't want to watch, then please check out and go do something else. I do not want to take anybody off or annoy anybody or frustrate anybody. Um, but if you think you might be interested, then definitely, by all means, please keep watching. So the first thing I want to talk about is Genesis. And the reason for this video um, is not arbitrary. I really am living, I'm living in a really small town right now. And after graduating seminary from New York City, it's been an adjustment. And I find myself in really frustrating conversations with uh, the religious right and just the misinformation that I keep getting exposed to um, and false Christianity that's that's preached and taught here. Um, I'm not actually sure of the lineage and how it all happened and what version of the Bible people are reading and how these misconceptions, how these social misconceptions are placed on verses that don't actually say what people think that they say or what people say that they say. Um, so, and I did a thesis on um, transgender theology and just sort of taking the Bible and looking at different verses from from that perspective and illuminating passages that don't really say what we have always been taught to think that they say. And when you actually look at the original Greek, Hebrew, or Aramaic um, and Coptic in certain cases, it, it's it's a whole different world. So I'm a little frustrated and I know that a constant topic for people who are living in smaller towns and even people who are living in bigger towns in more liberal cities like uh, New York City, it's not always the case that everybody's so accepting and aware and educated. So um, this is kind of to help some people out maybe and to also kind of get this off my chest because it's really frustrating. So the creation story you never hear about Genesis 2-7 is actually the second creation story. Adama is the first earth creature, or I think the literal, the literal translation from the Hebrew is like creature of the dust or ground creature dwelling, something of that um, variety. And then Adam and Eve are created out of Adama and split down the middle. Adama split, and then that's Adam and Eve's backs, and they're created simultaneously and sex and gender are not assigned until a couple of verses later and even then uh, sex is it's inferred XY and XX chromosomes so there's so there's no place for XXYY XXY chromosomes um, according to Phyllis Tribble there's actually five different sexes and according to the Intersex Society of North America there's 27 different genders and that's not talked about so clearly problematic and why would it be talked about 3,000 years ago? Um, okay, so there's that. This is deeply complex and like, it, there's more I could say and I hope I hope it's really not boring and I hope it's, it's somewhat interesting. Um, so then in the New Testament, there's this process called parthenogenesis that certain um, animals are cre and reptiles are created out of this where there's no sperm so if you buy the virgin birth, or even if you think metaphorically it's interesting, um, Jesus was actually born with XX chromosomes and may or may not have had a sex change in the womb. We don't actually know what Jesus' sexual organs look like, nor do I honestly care. I don't think it's important, but some people get obsessed with things like that. Um, and also, like, there's a theory that even if he was born with male sex organs that he was genderqueer on some level um, because of how he lived. It was so different than what was expected out of the male gender at that time in the ancient Near East. So um, that's like Bible 101 really quick and hopefully not too boring version. And um, if anybody has any questions about this stuff, feel free to comment. I do have a blog where I kind of like rattle on about this stuff and just other trans stuff. Just um, it's nothing serious, it's just something I do on the side, um, but potentially I want to create like some curriculum to start teaching transgender liberation theology in more open and affirming 
or may, may, it would be really great if I could teach it in non-open and affirming churches too, um, but to kind of like get this information out there and to be more inclusive because it tends to be, uh, we, we talk about sexuality a lot in open and affirming churches, but we has, we still struggle with the T part of LGBT. So this, I started doing this work because I didn't see myself at the table and I wanted to create a spot for myself in my community and hopefully this will take off or at least go somewhere and do something or at least help some people along the way. So hope you're having a great day and I will see you next.